the day we're gonna be installing a new set of engine sliders on the Ducati scrambler so as you all saw in the intro I just did an unpacking of all the stuff that was in the box so let's go through it very fast and explain what I just unboxed so obviously we have the shaft which will go through the engine and all of these spacers will attach to that shaft these are the ends, the bobbins, as I call them. They are really well made and look really high quality. These are the instructions that we got with the kit. Everything seems to be made of duralumin, which is a type of hardened aluminum, which means that they can absorb a good impact. So the reason I'm installing these is obviously I don't have any yet. And last week I had a small accident, I fell off from the bike, thankfully the handguard absorbed all the damage and there's not really any visible damage on the side of the bike, except just a small scratch here which, which is vi barely visible. Now to install this shaft, uh, as a precaution I'm gonna put a pedo pedo stand on the bike and also I'm gonna put a bit of support underneath the engine. Uh, I'm gonna support it just a bit here on the sump. Actually, I have an engine guard, so it's gonna be supported from there. Uh, at least since I remove the shaft from the engine, uh, the engine won't drop off or you know lose the alignment, so it will be easier to put the new shaft in. So one last thing about this kit: um, the price, obviously, it costed me around 75 euro. Um, mostly was shipping that costed me around 31 euro which is pretty high for shipping um, and obviously the total kit is around uh, 45 euro to 50 euro depends on where you live obviously you will have different types of shipping and shipping prices so if you are interested in this kit I suggest you go to their website and check from there so with that being said let's move on grab the kit take it near the bike and start the installation So just like that, just a little bit of support, no need to go ham on the jack and that's basically it for the bike now and let's start removing the and let's start removing the engine bolts. So for this job I'm gonna use a 16 millimeter socket. So now that the shaft is undone, I'm gonna prepare the new stuff. Uh, basically, I'm grabbing the new shaft. I'm gonna spray it a bit with silicone uh, grease. After that, just put in the spacer, the larger one. We're gonna start with the larger one and the slider. And obviously the last part will be the Allen bolt, which will tighten up everything. Now I'm just gonna start pushing out the old shaft from the engine. 
So I'm gonna be using the new shaft and tapping it gently with a rubber mallet. Okay, so the old shaft is out, as you heard it fall. Um, before we fully assemble this shaft, let's uh, put on the spacer and the slider. Just like this. And let's continue tapping it. So make sure that the shaft has no problems on the other side, uh, that it went through the hole. Um, and basically that's it from this side. I'm gonna put in the, I'm gonna put in the Allen nut, just so nothing falls off. Just, just tighten it loosely with my hands. it so this is now the other side um, and we can see the shaft is already showing off here I'm gonna lightly tap a little bit more on the other side so we have more clearance still need a bit more so now we have enough threads over here you can start putting on the slider and the allen bolt now if you were unable to get enough threads over here loosen up a bit the other side so that the shaft has enough room to move to this side. So now I have everything in place, both sides. Now to tighten the shaft, we'll need two Allen keys, both size eight millimeter. Uh, so I'm gonna hold one end and tighten from this side. So that's the job done. Now, before I go any further, I'm not affiliated with Ardimoto in any way. I bought these myself and I'm just installing them and giving a review. So they look pretty good, well made, obviously. Now, since they have that classic look, they blend well with the scrambler. As you can see, they're barely visible. So I'm extremely happy with how they look. And I think they're a really good value for money. So that's the job done. The sliders are now installed. They look pretty good. Uh, if you guys need any help, just comment below uh, on the video. I will post a link in the description for these sliders, uh, the description of the video. And that's pretty much it. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.